So in today's episode of the Minecraft Star Let's Play, we work on a castle. Officially, it's happening. I know it's taken us about 18 episodes, but the progress is starting. So make sure you watch until the end. Also, thank you so much for 70,000 subscribers. Um, I'm thinking of maybe doing a setup tour for that. So let me know in the comment section if that is something that you want to see. Also, if you're watching my videos like this, make sure to turn it this way. Click that subscribe button and notification bell. I'd really appreciate it. And go back to watching the video. And finally, let's see if we can reach 10 likes in today's video. Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Server Let's Play. Today we're working on a castle, and you might have seen it already in the top left of my corner. But there's something that I need to do. I was live streaming, and if you guys all know and you paid attention or showed up to the live stream, you all know that we found a lot of things from there. But our uh, Ed the Pick efficiency is very, very low. So we're gonna go ahead and fix the durability on this. Um, it says it's too expensive. Hold on, uh, that's not, last time I checked, it wasn't too expensive. Hold on here, hold on, villager. We're also gonna try to put unbreaking on this pickaxe because out of all things, I'm surprised on a pickaxe that I do not have, uh, unbreaking on it. I have efficiency, but not unbreaking. Now, this is all the stuff that I managed to pull off from the nether. I was just exploring during the live stream. We have ourselves, uh, a lot of gold tools here because we found some, uh, ruined, uh, nether portals and we have looting one sword. We have all types of good stuff. Now, I'm not wearing the netherite armor because we do have to fix it, so for now we're chilling with the gold this is what i got from it protection four not too bad um uh, but yeah we're just rocking the gold in today's episode now i'm pretty sure there we go i have a few books and i have a few lapis in the enchantment room i want to go see if we can pull off some unbreaking three for our pickaxe and then i want to go and try and combine our pickaxe with another diamond pickaxe to fix our durability because it's pretty pretty low and we have quick charge protection and unbreaking one uh we're just gonna get unbreaking one what do these books have i forgot about that this book is Efficiency 2. <laughs> Can't believe I completely forgot that we have books here. Um, what does this book give us? This gives us Unbreaking 1 and Unbreaking 1. We can combine that. And what is this one? This is Fire Protection. So we'll leave that there. All right. I didn't even know we had this. There's another book here too. Hold on. I completely forgot about this. And we have Protection 1. Okay. Perfect. So we have ourselves Unbreaking 2 that we can combine on the uh, anvil. And then we can go work on this castle, which is honestly, it's going to be a big project. So let's just get some rest first real quick. All right. So now we're back at the anvil. We're going to combine these for Unbreaking 2. And then we're going to go ahead and place. It says it's still too expensive. I'm not entirely sure why that's too expensive. What I want to do is, although it says too expensive, I want to go ahead and craft ourselves one more pickaxe because I do have 34 diamonds on us. I want to craft ourselves another pickaxe and see if that's causing the problems. Do we have, do we not have any wood? Okay, there we go. Now that we have ourselves another diamond pickaxe, I want to see if this is, a, this has been a concerning problem. Why is it becoming too expensive? Is it because the pickaxe is like level God or something? Like, what is this? So let me see if it's, yeah, it is too expensive. Why is it too expensive, chat? You guys, uh, comments. Let me know in the comment section. But what we'll do is I'm going to put Unbreaking on this book here, uh, or on this pickaxe. That way we have Unbreaking 2, and then we can combine the two in the future. So at least we have that in the checks. I was hoping we can get that done, but I guess not. As you guys can tell, I still currently have this skin on me right now, but this skin will be changing, okay? We're going to be getting a full official revamp of my skin. It's been like five years since I've done that. Um, I had a derp skin before, but it's, you know, this is this time for change, guys. But it's still going to be a fox skin, but I'm really excited to show you guys now the castle, okay? The long-awaited uh, part here is what you guys have probably been waiting the whole time throughout this episode. Let's go ahead and just block this off here. I'm going to throw myself a ender pearl on that side. There we go. Perfect. I should have just ender pearled over the wall. I, oh, I, Alexon, stop it. Uh, right now, you can't see anything but a dirt wall. But as we go over to the top, you guys will see right here the Alexon Castle. This is the perfect location because, one, it looks over the village. And it's the perfect spot for a king to be sitting on top of a mountain, I think. So if you can also tell, there's a few things that I snuck into this village. Now, this castle, you guys probably think this is complete. It is not complete, okay? Let me show you the inside right now, okay? As we go on in, going to close it and... There we go. That's my castle. It is not even complete from the slightest. But what I've done was I wanted to kind of uh, build a front entrance so that you guys can see my ambitions for this build. Now, if you guys can also tell, I've made a... 
uh, shape of an A, okay? So Alexon, I wanted to make an Alexon A on every single entrance besides the main entrance, because the main entrance, I just couldn't manage to pull off making it look like an A. But let me know what you think about that. I also want to know what you guys think about the whole style of this. You know, this side's gonna be taller than this side, what type of blocks I'm using and all that. So let me know in the comment sections your opinions. And I need to know what else I should be adding in this castle. Now, this castle is gonna have all of our storage supplies or of our trophy rooms, everything you can imagine is going to be in here, okay? So we're gonna be doing a little bit of work. Uh, there's just a lot to do. So right now, all we have to do is, oh my gosh, our pickaxe durability is really getting scary low. But I do have the unbreaking pickaxe, so we might have to use that. Although we do have mending, I don't know why it's causing a little bit of an issue, okay? Don't know why. So what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna simply add a whole layer of cobblestone around this whole castle because, wait, I still have, I have more, I know I have more cobblestone. I know I do. I have plenty of cobblestone. I've been preparing for this episode for quite some time, okay? It's taken me a lot of time to prepare this, and hopefully you guys like the style of the castle. So, I have to continue adding up all the cobblestone around this whole base, okay? And then I can't promise that we're going to finish this whole castle in the first uh, attempt at it, okay? This is going to be probably a part two for this episode, so make sure you guys uh, are subscribed and hit that notification bell to stay up to date for the next Part, which will be next episode we'll be working on this castle a little bit more and maybe i can show painful the tour of our new house so I'm, I'm excited this this castle is going to be probably the biggest build i've ever accomplished and second of all i took down like a whole forest in here okay this is why i have so much wood here specifically spruce and i want to know your opinion should i put spruce in the corners of uh the area over here because what the whole point of that top surface area above the door is going to go around the whole castle but we have an area that you can just walk on and kind of guard the castle maybe we can bring some villagers in here but they're just going to be chilling so what i want to do is i'm going to just pause over here i'm going to complete a little bit more and you guys are going to see pretty much some of the progress i've done all right everyone so i've done a little bit more work on the inside and outside of the castle now i come up with this really basic idea i went back and i got ourselves some blackstone from the nether we have like a little chest by the nether portal and i realized there's something that that I was like, okay, you know what? It would be kind of interesting to have the letter A stand out as a focal point. And I figured we could use some new blocks to make it stand out. So let me know in the comment section what you think if I make the letter A out of black stone. I know we can make the black stone into polished black stone or chiseled black stone. So if that's something that you think will look a lot better, then you can go and let me know in the comment section. But check it out. There is still enough room to crouch under here, which is, <laughs> which is actually really cool because we're not really going to use the side entrances as much as the main entrance because the inside of this whole courtyard I thought about it is going to be uh, completely like there's gonna be rooms like it's not gonna be an open grass area all this area is going to be changed into rooms different levels going down and above so that we can have so much storage and so many cool areas to to kind of explore this castle now as I was building I blocked off all the entrances because there was a wolf in here so I want to go ahead and tame uh, this this new this new pet we have another pet and this pet is going to specifically stay only in the castle he's going to be the guardian of the castle so we need to name this uh this new dog this our new pet and i have to definitely find a lot of name tags now i'm waiting for an afk fish farm to actually work so we can get ourselves some more name tags uh but in the meantime we're just gonna have to deal with it this way and i also thought about it if i get some uh let's go ahead and get some flowers in here we'll use some of this and we'll just make uh let's let's get a different color collar if we can get a different color collar than yellow that would be great let's see um oh come on this is really no come on on. There's got to be like a blue flower in here. This is why I got this. This is why it takes me a while to build things because I get easily distracted. Let's grab our blue flower, make it into blue dye. I'm giving you a blue collar because I think that fits the kingdom or it also fit, fits the castle. All right, perfect. <laughs> so now that we have that done, what I was able to do is I, I finished walling up the whole inside. I've added a little bit more of the same style structure to the sides. Now I want to show you guys how it's actually done because I know some of you want to see the building progress. So that's why I decided to uh, pause and come back and show you guys some of the updates that I'm doing so far. So as you can tell, what we're going to do is we are adding the, uh, this right here is smooth stone slab. And we're just going to go around here. I'm really running low on these. 
Um, and it takes a while because we have to use the furnaces and smelt some. We should probably be doing that as I speak, but it's all right. Uh, let's grab some more stone, some more smooth stone. We have plenty in here. I'm going to grab some of these, and I'm actually going to start uh, cooking some stone, some cobblestone in there. Okay, let's grab a few more just because I know we're going to be using a lot of the smooth stone um, throughout this build, so I figured we might as well go ahead and make some progress as we are building here. So we're going to go and just place a stone brick all across the sides, and then after that, we're going to place on the bottom stone slab. Is it really got to be raining right now? Great. Do we have a bed here? Oh, oh wait, we do have a bed on us. Okay. Actually kind of worked out quite nice. Let's get some rest real quick. All right, perfect. Yeah, this is how this is why building is always a difficult process, especially in survival. And I really would like to get an elytra. A lot of you guys have been saying, please go into the end. But we have to find the stronghold. That's the main reason why I was live streaming so much in the nether, because I was trying to find uh, a fortress. We get some blaze rods, and I, I have not been able to find that yet. Um, although hopefully soon enough, we'll be able to find uh, ourselves a, a blaze rod or a uh, nether fortress. Because I know we found the piglin fortress, but we do need to find another fortress so we can get blaze. I have not been able to even come across any at all. Let's grab our stairs, and all we have to do is we'll place them down like this on this side, and we do the same thing with the other side. Okay, now I realized something here, okay? There's going to be something that I added. I don't think I even mentioned it yet, but behind here is andesite, okay? So... This smooth polished andesite and I figured okay it looked good before but I figured we need to have um, some type of structure detail because if it was just all flat it would look weird but now that we add this little bit of structure looks a lot better so that's something that I decided while I was making the video and I felt like you know what it's probably a best uh, to do that see this is what I mean exactly so right here before it was nothing and now instead we're gonna be adding ourselves an extra layer which I think looks a lot better and adds a little bit more to the whole build um, so yeah I think it's pretty good and don't worry, we're going to go back to making those challenges. I know you guys have been giving me a ton of challenges to complete, and we will we will get to that. Now, I also want all of you to let me know in the comment section if I should keep the spruce. I personally really like having the strip spruce in here. It adds a little bit more to just having all stone. So I think it's something that I want to keep. Now, you guys can let me know if it should be stripped or if it should just be normal oak. It's a really difficult decision. So... I don't know exactly what I like better. This gives a little bit more more color to it, in my opinion. So it's tough. I need you guys to, to let me know in the comment section. So let me uh, go ahead and build back up. I'm going to be adding it regardless to each side. And then from there, you guys can uh, let me know. But let's go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Just keep going around. Now, these areas will be closed in because they are towers that go to the top. Every tower is going to have its own height. Like, this one here will probably be, like, like medium size to this one. And this one will be a little bit similar size. Now that we got a little bit of this, I'm not going to worry about this side of the castle yet. There's a reason for it. I think I actually want to go and expand into this hill and expand the castle a little bit more mainly for some other cool projects so i think that's going to be something that i'm going to hold off see what you guys think about that but in the meantime we're going to continue working on this side so i want to go ahead and show you guys how i built the uh the black stone here so the black stone was like this so we put three uh for the letter a um and i think it was we go three then we go in one same with this side and we go build up like this I think I'm managing the wait, hold on. I think I may have just come up with a better design for letter A. <laughs> oh wait, that looks I feel like that looks a lot better, guys. Um oh, that's definitely a better le looking letter A, I think. It looks a lot better. Okay, so and that's going to be nice because now we can actually walk like normal like normal people and just walk through without having to crouch. So let's go ahead and try to replicate the same thing on this side. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, I'm liking it. I think it's good. Now we have those items that we we can't grab. Why? Why can't we grab them now? Okay, perfect. Oh, we, we can even crouch through the letter A. That's actually quite funny. That's that's really cool. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I know we spent a lot of time working on the letter A, but I think it was it was mandatory because now I really have a nice feel to this, and I think it, it really does uh, match what I'm trying to do. It's the Alexson Castle. It has to look somewhat decent. So we're making a lot of decent progress so far, okay? Not too bad. Okay, there's a few more things that I want to do before we end off today's episode. We're getting close to the end of the episode, and I know there's still a lot of work to be done. So I'm going to pause again. I'm going to try to get a little bit more done with this tower right over here. Uh, I've done a few extra little details to this. Not too much, actually. Uh, what I've done was I actually thought about it. As you enter the castle, 
castle, right? We have to start with making the inside look a little bit more like a house instead of feeling more like a courtyard. So I've added these uh, cobblestone walls and all of these cobblestone walls will be transformed. They will be added with a lot more texture and detail. But for now, this is a long, long project build. So I'm going to pretty much not be able to finish in today's episode. But in the next few episodes, this will be a big, big project of ours to complete. So I've added this separation wall because in here now we're going to have different rooms and different levels like I mentioned before. But what I've done mostly was I was able to complete here our very basic design. Now, I do need a little bit more of some uh, smooth stone brick. Let's grab that stone brick. And now we're going to go up to the top. I was able to complete everything else over here, uh, just adding all the cobblestone. We're really running low on a lot of supplies, so we're going to have to do a lot more there. I built ourselves a little ladder. It's not going to be like this forever, but um, we're going to add some nice structure to it. But as you guys can tell from the top, it's a very basic look, but we can see the whole village. It looks so perfect. The kingdom is looking nice. We still have to update all the village houses, but the view from this one is perfect because I wanted to make this the tallest tower out of the four corners so that we can really see everything. But yeah, so I didn't want to do too much more in today's episode because I know that you guys want to see progress and I feel like it's really difficult for me to build a whole entire castle in one episode, but I wanted to bring you guys up here so you can see the layout of the castle so far. It's very symmetrical, although this main entrance here, it's gonna allow us to go into different rooms and different levels within this castle. Now, these two towers and the project behind us, I want to extend the castle a little bit more into the hill. That way we can have another area of the castle on this hill that could just have different levels around here. So I think that would be a really beneficial thing for us. Also, the doorways. This doorway is gonna lead us to the lighthouse and the fishing market area. And now this doorway is going to lead us to the nether portal so i think that's really perfect i do want to build a nether portal a hub right in uh to the right of the castle so now you guys can kind of get the whole picture from the point this is why i built this up here so you guys can really see everything and we can see the whole village so it is looking quite nice now that's pretty much all i wanted to show you guys there's a few other details before i fall off i was really close to falling off oh Yep, fell off. Well, uh, yeah, that happened. So we're going to grab a little bit of this dirt. There's a reason why, because I want to go up here and show you guys another basic design that I worked on. And it's, you guys can see, it's very simple. It's an arch and two other blocks. So you guys probably want to know how that's done. You put uh, your stairs like that. And then afterwards, you grab your stone brick, place two stone brick on this side. Really basic, really simple. And then you guessed it, you grab some more stone brick stairs and you place it in the corner. And <laughs> that's literally all you have to do. So it is a pretty simple build. It adds a little bit more to the to the towers. I think it looks really nice. Um, now there's gonna be windows that I wanna add in the towers, but I'm not gonna rush that yet because I don't have a plan for where to put the windows and how to design it. But that is going to be all of what we're gonna be doing in today's episode of the castle. I think that it has been a very productive episode. We have done so much already and uh you know what we're gonna add a bell right over there just for now because you know what make sure you just hit that notification bell and subscribe if you haven't already um but yeah that's gonna conclude the episode we have a dog we have some letter a's in this castle we have a whole courtyard of flowers and uh tall grass but it's all gonna look a lot better in the next episode i promise you guys all that so thank you so much for watching i appreciate it make sure you guys go ahead and check out all the links down below in the description thank you again so much for 70,000 subscribers and uh there's a lot of cool things so stay tuned tuned for the channel there's a lot of cool things that will be coming uh and yeah so i just can't say too much more but yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed my name is alex and peace out and stay foxy